time coming and you know this all I got I've been sacrificing for years Why the rest of y'all have not these motherfuckers want my spot Yo, what is going on guys? Bennett here, coming to you guys again with another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be pretty much showing you guys um, graphic design. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some Modern Warfare thumbnails. If you guys are not good at Photoshop or are still learning Photoshop and want something to help you, I hopefully this tutorial can help you guys. But before we guys we start this video guys, I would really appreciate it if you guys go check out my other video. I will have a card up now. Uh, where you can download this pack and it pretty much explains what this pack is and you guys are free to use this pack so yeah uh, also guys if you guys could leave a like on this video guys it really does help the channel out and if you guys are new subscribe so let's get into it so when you guys are making thumbnails basically you guys always are going to want to make thumbnails in either 720p or 1080p for this thumbnail guys I am going to be using uh, 1080p for this instance so I'm just going to name the thing YouTube uh, video th so for the width you guys you're going to go 1920 height 1080 resolution guys you can either keep it on 72 or uh, 300 it really doesn't matter um, I prefer 72 but you guys can use 300 for background you guys can use white and yeah you just want to hit okay so since you guys um, are looking at this channel as many of you guys know most gaming channels now have these uh, like Call of Duty effects as such as the big channels have uh, graphic designers. So if you guys want something to look like theirs, you guys are going to want to search up clouds on Google. Now while you guys want to put clouds or something like that, it just because it gives it a subtle, uh, nice background. So you guys are going to want to wait until you guys get a loading. You guys can use any type of clouds as you guys want, but I'm going to use these. So if you guys use these, you guys are going to want to hit copy, click on the image, copy, come over to Photoshop, hit Control V, and you guys should get it inside Photoshop. Now guys, this is a little bit too white, so if you guys would like, you guys can click on this little button down here. So on the bottom row, you have the effects, uh, camera, and then you have gradient. So you guys want to click on this, and you're going to want to hit a gradient map. Now for this guys, I recommend... Uh, this gradient that I have here it's like a bluish like a light blue to um, what is it called to blue I will have the uh, codes down below if you guys want to download this so once you guys get it you guys can see it is really dark so what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to soft light now that just gives it a little bit more of a nice little blue popping uh, background so once you guys click on that, you're gonna want to hit click on both of them with uh, Control and hit Control E, and that merges both of them together. Just a little quick shortcut for you guys. So now, now the whole point of Call of Duty guys uh, thumbnails is to have a gun. Majority of people want to have a gun. It's just a little bit easier now. Uh, majority of people don't have too much text in their titles now, and just guns in their titles and makes their thumbnails look a little bit cleaner. So if you guys come to my pack. You guys can head down to the guns option, and I do have. Oh, you gonna hide this? Uh, you can also hide the back, the last one, if you guys want. If you guys want a uh, pack two, um, I am selling the pack two guys with a lot more gun renders for around ten dollars. If you guys have the money or in need of some guns, but pack one guys should be enough for most of you guys. So today I am probably gonna make. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go with this M4 here. So what you guys are gonna want to do is you're gonna want to right click it, duplicate, click over it says document. You guys are gonna head up to YouTube and you guys are gonna name the gun whatever you guys want. So once you guys are here, you guys are gonna see that the gun is a little bit smaller than what the canvas is. So you guys are gonna want to hit Control T, move the gun to I say around this location here. You're gonna want to before you click this guys, you're gonna want to hit Shift and stretch the gun out not too much but just a decent amount oh, if you guys get this weird back thing you guys are going to want to hit just hit control z and then just hit shift and just make the gun pretty big nope this is all testing guys you guys just want to make it look a, as much as professional as you guys can okay now you guys see that this little thing is cut off right here so what you guys want to do if you guys have that y'all can move down your gun 
or if you guys would like you guys can put your gun a little bit more to this side depending on you know the cutout you guys have so I think that looks really good right there it's just looking up to the sky and it has a pretty decent thing so guys now it's something that's really simple uh, you guys don't have to use my pack for any of this guys um, but what I do have I believe is it in lighting yeah lighting you guys are going to grab the dark side copy and paste that over to YouTube to your uh, whatever pack you guys are on make sure you guys have it enabled put it over behind your gun just hit and shift and just make it the size of the canvas and boom that just gives it a little bit more of an effect guys it just makes a, the, the thing look a little bit cleaner now I'm not too sure if I added the white sparks in here but it doesn't look like I have it in my pack but you really don't need them okay so let me just go open up my other uh, thumbnail really quickly if you guys are enjoying this video so far make sure you guys do leave a like so this is basically guys what you guys are going to want to get towards the end hopefully my camera isn't bothering it but what I'm basically looking for here is what I'm going to grab are these white spikes I'll have I'll actually have this PSD guys down in the description if you guys want to download it use it as a template you guys can go ahead and you're just going to want to stretch these out and boom now with these white strikes guys I recommend you guys lower the opacity a little bit not too much I recommend like 65 75 around there now guys you guys upload this as a thumbnail it is really good I personally like it but something that a lot of people um, don't really do to the thumbnails if you guys are content creators um, I recommend you guys do put your face cam you can either put you know your face cam on this side like over here you can put a face cam put a picture here put a picture here but you know what I mean that's all up to you that's preference that's the type of thumbnail you want to make now guys for the text for the text guys you guys can use any type of text you guys want I prefer I personally like to use Gotham uh, Ult uh, Ultra um, I won't have that inside the pack guys just because you do have to pay for Gotham Ultra it is not a free um, what is it called um, font but another good one guys that you guys can use you guys can use the uh, Fortnite one which is called Burbank make sure it is bold 60 and I'm just gonna put this as text so you can basically just go here bring it up boom you can add a single word and that's basically what you guys could do that's one possibility what you guys could do um, you guys can also go down here move it down here make it smaller it's all personal preference guys uh, you really want to be uh, you know uh, creative with your thumbnails try not to like copy too many other people but yeah I'm not gonna add text to this because I think this looks clean already but there's something that you guys can add are emojis I think guys emojis are pretty cool so in the pack that I do provide to you guys I have uh, a couple different emojis they're not all really the best emojis but for this one we're gonna put the do I have a, have a crown is it angry Here, we'll do the very angry emoji same thing you guys just want to duplicate into your thing put them in there grab the emoji make it a little bit bigger and yeah now something that you know what I mean a lot of people don't go over guys is color correction uh, so to do color correction guys you guys will need to have something inside Photoshop uh, you guys can have a thing over this to make color correction look a little bit better but I recommend don't doing uh, not to have that so what you guys are gonna want to do is go on YouTube or if I do get around 50 likes I will make a tutorial on this you guys want to go uh, it's something called Photoshop raw or camera raw so basically what that does is is if you when you save your picture in PNG 
once you guys have a PNG of it, you're just going to want to reopen it. And when you guys reopen it, as in uh, Camera Raw, you guys get this filter here. Now, as you guys can see, the, the, the software basically tries to make it as, um, what's it called? As what it, it would think would look good. So, as you guys can see here, if I go back to default, it's a little bit lighter. So, guys, I recommend not use to not using uh, exposure, contrast, highlights, any of that. I recommend you guys use clarity. It makes the, the thumbnail look a little bit more HD. I recommend for my settings, guys. Let me load them up really quickly. Load settings, test. What I use personally, you guys, for my thumbnails, uh, depending on the thumbnail, sometimes I drop it if I'm using, uh, what is it called? Uh, it all depends on the weapon guys and like the customer you guys are using it for so I'm gonna put everything back to zero If you guys want to see the settings it's right here So I have zero 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 everything 30 50 and 20 you guys can mess around these settings guys It's all your personal opinion at the end of the day guys. It is your thumbnail That's what you want it to be and when you guys are done here you guys want to hit open image and you're gonna want to hit OK. Now, as you guys can see, it's just a little bit darker. It looks a little bit cleaner, and you guys just want to resave that one. So, guys, that's basically the video, guys. Uh, I will be making more videos. Uh, you can basically add this, add to this as much as you guys want. It's all personal preference. So, I will be linking this down below. But if you guys do want to check out this pack, I remember, guys, to check the link in the description I will have a link to the video and yeah that's basically it guys it's been your boy Benlink and yeah guys we're almost to 2,000 subscribers guys this is my first ever video making uh, tutorials so I might not be perfect but that's pretty much it guys I hope you guys enjoy and I'm out peace